Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I made a, an unusual late medieval shield, specifically a uh, boss gripped heater shield, a shield that looks roughly like this shield, inspired by this type of shield, which you find quite a bit of in, in especially in late 15th century art, but earlier as well. Uh, specifically, a shield that was inspired by this piece of art that you see now, and even more specifically, the shield, the, this, uh, this blue shield here. Even more specifically, therefore, this reproduction shield right here, which I realize the lighting right now is not very good. I will show you some photographs. And now let's get to the videos uh, illustrating the process of making this. So here I've got my dome, which is not glued yet. So I glued two of these slivers together here, and two more are being glued as we speak, right there. So basically I wasn't sure how to make a dome. And I decided to go with this method, so I use a bowl to get a basic outline of the shape, and I start cutting slivers that fit on the bowl. And whenever I have a space, a gap like this, that means I need an extra sliver in here if I want to match the shape of the bowl. And that's how I made all these slivers rising up here to make a dome. Now once these are all glued together, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, file off all the rough edges on the outside and, of course, on the inside. And hopefully this will be strong enough, but we're going to see. And then these pieces are for potentially uh, adding a decorative uh, sort of indent at the beginning of the dome that could also serve a purpose. Okay, so here I've got my outline of my shield with my dome, my wooden boss, roughly in its final position, although I'm still going to have to work that out. But I've essentially got um, two boards here, which I'm going to press into a steep curve. And I've got my dome here, which I've just finished gluing, and I'm going to now have to file off all these corners to make it a into a smooth dome. Uh, and here's what it looks like on the inside. So this is my improvised shield press or my gluing setup. So I use this to glue together these two boards which will uh, be the basis for my shield. And as you can see here I used a variety of means to glue these boards into a pretty sharp or a pretty deep rather curve. I'm going to show you on the other side because that's going to be the top of the shield and it's actually more precisely curved. So here you can get an idea what it looks like. Very improvised using uh, sort of concrete or I don't know what they are, heavy blocks as weights and a limited number of, um, of uh, whatever these things are. What do you call these? Um, clamps, I guess. Vices? Clamps? I'm not sure. Clamps, I think. So anyway, that is the setup. Now all that's left to do is tomorrow I'm going to take that off and then uh, take the, the curved boards out and have a look what kind of shape we have. And uh, then I'm going to have to cut out the shield shape and um, Yeah, and then attach the, the dome and make a grip, attach that. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, and here.
here is a piece of ash that I'm going to use tomorrow to make my grip. It's uh, left over from a uh, little ash tree that I split and that I used to make some spear shafts, including that one up there, which you can't even see the, the tip of, and uh, a few others up there. Okay, so I basically left my board overnight, and now I cut off the, it basically was shaped kind of like a, a Roman scutum, and I cut off these triangles at the bottom to give it a kite shield shape. So here are the some of the cutoff pieces, funky shapes. Um, and now I've located the point of balance of the shield, and I'm placing the grip just above the point of balance so that I can even have the point of balance sort of in the bottom of my hand, which will give me good control over the shield, but prevent it from easily tipping, uh, have, have the top pull it down. So I'm cutting out this hole now, which will be a place for the grip, and this dome is going to come on top of that. So here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> what I've got here is my shield, which I have um, removed some material off the edges to make the shape correspond more to the original. Here's one of the slices I removed. Um, or rather not the original, but to the art that I'm basing this shield on. And I've got my dome here, which I have um, filed uh, the layers of plywood to achieve this domed shape. So I've worked them on the inside a little bit as well, but I'm going to leave it rough there because it's kind of hard to, to reach. But here's the outside. And uh, what I'm now going to do is glue it onto here, and I've got some some slices here to make the shape fit, uh, or rather to match the dome to the um, to the uh, curved shape of the shield. Um, oh yeah, and then over here I've got my wooden handle. I've been working on a few lines there to make sure I stay straight. All right, I'm gonna assemble and glue this now. Okay, so I've got my boss assembled onto the shield board. Now the shield has a pretty much achieved the shape that I wanted, the shape that it seems to have in the art. And now the next stage is gluing on all the cloth, which is going to be a bit trickier than usual because, of course, I have to glue cloth onto the boss itself. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I've attached the shield boss here, which has been uh, filed down. I've attached it with uh, nails coming through from the other sh side of the shield. They're bent over here. Four nails, and two of which go through the grip. So, <clears throat> here, I've already glued some cloth, a cloth facing onto the shield, and, um, and attached the grip with some nails. Uh, I've also faced the inside of the boss with cloth. So now all I've got left to do is to um, line the boss and the front of the shield with cloth and then painting. So I finished gluing um, my cloth on all the sides and on the boss here. I had to use um, these strips to cover up the cracks. And I've sketched the 
part onto the shield and so now I'm ready to start painting. On the inside I've already shown pretty much. Everything's attached. And the the nails that go through the grip are hidden under the cloth. All right, so thanks for watching that. I realized that I didn't include any videos of the very end process of gluing on the front sheet and painting. I didn't include any videos of those things. I'm sorry, I simply uh, forgot to, to film. So filming well, working on something like this can be a little bit tedious, but if you want to see more detailed films of the process of making shields in the future, uh, let me know and I can try to do that with a bit more care. Thank you for watching. Until next time.